Hello, we are from Abovo and we have developed a supply chain planning and optimization solution in Dalmia Quintic. Today, we will show you how we can solve your empty repositioning challenges. For this puzzle, there is a need to allocate customer orders to the wagons of the trains, while simultaneously move empty wagons of different types to different locations. The goal is to optimize the moves and create trains by minimizing distances, ergo costs. For this demo, we must obey railway regulations. The regulations for your specific industry are easily configurable. For this puzzle, we will create trains. Each one of these trains has a limited capacity. Creating moves from orders and assigning them to different trains mean four things. Creating moves from orders to transport wagons between locations. Creating a demand for empty wagons to supply the orders. For example, a wagon move is required to move the order if there are no wagons at the original location. An empty move of a wagon is required to satisfy this order. Create trains to move the wagons. After this process, trains are combined to maximize utilization and minimize costs. And lastly, modify optimization parameters. Run multiple scenarios and compare the results to select the best suitable one to supply your demand. The first view is called order planning. In here you can see an overview of the orders and the wagon stock at each location. For this example, we have two types of orders, unit trains and single rail cars. We can see both the pickup and delivery locations and loading and unloading time windows. While the planner can plan one order at a time, this function will rarely be used. Planners can quickly create moves for multiple orders with a single click. The planner has the visibility at the bottom of the screen of the stock of rail cars at the order's origin station. When orders are planned, this stock is automatically updated. At the right of the screen, the KPIs are displayed, including the number of orders planned, train distance, train utilization, and used rail cars. If we select another order for which the planner created moves, we can see that there were moves generated. Orders do not go directly from origin to destination, but follow the network structure route. This route applies for all orders except for the block orders of priority 1 and 2, which go directly from origin to destination. When planning multiple orders at the same time, the action can create a shortage of rail cars at a specific station. There is an image which clearly tells the planner where the shortage is occurring. He or she can solve this by adding moves for empty wagons for the station with shortage. You can see how a new empty move has been generated. Manual planning all the orders can take a long time for the planner, so an optimizer's, optimizer is used to assign the best combination to minimize the cost. We can initiate the optimizer by clicking on the Optimize Moves located at the top of the screen. Several adjustments can be made to the optimizer in the optimization settings. As described in the introduction, planners now need to create trains for every move. We go to the view Train Planning. The process is very similar to creating moves for orders. Select one or several orders and click on Create Train. This creates a train with as many legs as move legs. We can also see that in the Gen chart. If two trains have the same route and matching times, we can combine them into one to improve our KPIs. However, the train is still not close to the maximum length. By looking at the KPIs, the planner can see the train utilization can still increase. A plan with low train utilization is not ideal. To increase the utilization of the train, we can use the view Add Moves to Trains. We can select our still not fully utilized train and drag a suggestion to the existing train leg. In this case, it's, it creates a waiting time for our train. This is due to the fact that the train needs to wait for the last move assigned to it. There's a clear visualization of this waiting time in the game chart. We can see the same as for move creation, how combining trains can be quite a hassle. We can always make use of our optimization tool to optimize trains. Same as for the move optimization, this optimizer is located at the top of the screen. The last step is the scenario comparison. To compare different scenarios, go to the View Scenario Comparison. 
In here, the planner can easily compare multiple scenarios at the same time and decide which one to go into production with. As mentioned before, there are multiple optimization parameters which modify the optimization results. These parameters range from the train speed to station operating hours and can easily be modified by the planner. Damia Quintic offers clear visuals with which the planner can select the best planning based on KPIs. As one can see, the solution leverages functionality from the Dalmia Quintic optimization tools, which shows how the solution can help a company optimally plan wagons and the corresponding empty moves. It will also help create optimal trains to deliver the orders and you can compare which of the multiple scenarios created is the best for your demand. This solution can be easily adapted to container repositioning via trucks, aircrafts, or maritime vessels. And thanks to it, you can support your planning with intelligence.